Welcome to the Bridgerton Season 3 Review. So, Bridgerton Season 3 is back after a two-year break, and it seems like the air in the Bridgerton balloon is getting a bit thin. The focus has shifted to Colin Bridgerton, the sensitive soul, and Penelope Featherington, the bookish youngest sister who also happens to be the author of the scandalous Lady Whistledown's gossip column. Colin, fresh from his grand tour of Europe, decides to play Cupid for Penelope, but things get complicated when Penelope's secret crush on Colin starts to become a two-way street. It's like a Jane Austen novel, but with more corsets and less tea. However, the show seems to be losing its bite. The writing is flimsy, and the production design looks like it was done by an AI tool that had too much caffeine. And while Nicola Coughlin shines as Penelope, her transition from wallflower to protagonist isn't doing her any favors. So, in a nutshell, Bridgerton Season 3 is like a beautifully decorated cake that's all icing and no substance. But hey, who doesn't love a bit of icing, right? The show faces challenges as it shifts focus to Penelope and Colin, with the need to maintain plausibility and emotional depth. Despite some shortcomings, Bridgerton Season 3 still offers an engaging narrative and captivating performances.